I'm all geared up and you should be too. Here's why. Welcome to this episode of Bench Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk about geared stepper motors. So these have been around a while. However, of lately, with a couple projects I'm working on, I've come to a new appreciation for these. And I kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Now, I'm going to have several interesting build projects coming out with this in the future, and I don't want to spoil that. However, I thought it worthwhile kind of sharing a bit of my epiphany about the application of these motors to some applications with you guys in advance. Now in the past I've built a number of motion control systems using just regular NEMA 17 motors. They're cheap, easy to get, easy to program, easy to control, but you need to be able to amplify the torque output. To amplify the torque output you need a gearing system whether it's belt or gear or driven where you have a drive gear and a driven gear where you have a ratio of number of turns of a small gear to that of a larger gear to increase the torque. In the case of this guy here, this is a 5.18 to 1 ratio. So in other words, this drive gear has to turn 5.18 times to make one revolution on the driven gear. Now there are all kinds of different gear ratios you can buy in these, so that's not the only one. Uh, and as a matter of fact, it's rather of a lower one. You know, I've seen them up to you know 27 to 1, etc. So you can get a lot of torque out of these guys, and that really is what the key is here. Because in the past, when I built motion control systems, I've had to build assemblies like this to make them useful. The problem with this is this is both expensive and time consuming, and especially time consuming when we're doing this as a hobby. So if I can get away from building all this, because you see here I've got to build some kind of plate mechanism to retain a couple bearings because I'm going to have to maintain a couple shafts to pass through the plate to my gears or bearings. I'm going to have to have a belt. I'm going to have to have an output shaft. You know, again, it takes a lot of time. Now, in full disclosure, this isn't going to be a 100% replacement for this in all cases, but many cases it will. Because one of the pieces that I found very interesting that while I knew I didn't really fully uh, realize is the holding torque of these guys are amplified by this too. Now, it's, you know, you say, well, Mr. DIY3DTech.com, this is common sense, and you're right, it is. But I just really never thought about it this way until I saw another YouTube video where they used an application of that. And I'll share that in a future video because I don't want to spoil what I'm doing with these and that would do that. However, I wanted to share this with you guys. So if you're thinking about a motion control system, these are really worthwhile to think about versus these. Whether you're designing something to 3D print that requires a high torque output, you're building a, a, a robot, you're building a pan and tilt platform, you're building an uh, automatic antenna tracking system, all kinds of stuff. This is really a good uh, alternative to going through and investing all this effort in, in a mechanism such as this. For example, this guy here has uh, two newton meters of force. You know, that's equivalent to about, I think, 283, if I have it right here on the paper, uh, ounces per, per square inch. I mean, this is a lot of torque coming out of this little motor. And the key is, not only are you getting that torque, but you're also getting the holding torque um, from this motor too and that's really what's key because one of the pieces that you need this big assembly for is to be able to hold something in place for example um, in the basic design here is is for a pan and tilt configuration for a camera so if you put a dslr on here and you're using a nema 17 it's not going to have enough torque to hold that but with this gear assembly it will also with this gear assembly you're moving down the speed for a smoother motion you're getting all this out of this short stubby assembly here so it's very compact very easy to work with you don't have to build this now the cost of this is also what's really interesting too um, this motor is about 28 bucks on Amazon. This one's about 15. So it's just short of twice the price. So it is obviously more money. However, the time it would take you to build this assembly, buy all the parts, or machine the parts yourself, you know, the, the extra few bucks, I think 14 bucks or so, is well worth it for this extra gearbox. So that's my whole point of this video is I wanted to kind of share this a little bit of an epiphany I had especially in the holding torque that is generated by this guy for various applications so if you're looking to build something and you're thinking about this type of assembly mechanism consider uh, giving a gearbox a try 
Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was a little bit inspirational. I know this has uh, been inspirational to me. And look for a couple of videos coming out on this in the near future of some cool projects. Swag Shop's up in the corner. Subscribe's over there. Hit me up in the comments below if you know some other cool uh, applications I may come up with this or some other cool versions of this. Love to hear from you guys in the comments down below about this. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we build something cool with it. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.